Hello everyone, this is Newbitch here, and I'm here with a game sent in to me by Smodis and uh, Sir Gris Staren. This was sent in quite a long time ago, but StarCraft had, had some problems, so I haven't been able to cast for a while, but I think I finally fixed it. So... Mm, Probably a bunch of StarCraft videos is gonna come up soon. Or sooner or later if you know what I mean. There will be more StarCraft videos, that's what I'm trying to say. And um, we have a Zerg vs Terran on uh, Daybreak. Probably uh, the latter edition because, well, it seems like it's latter. Um, Seems like Smodis was kind of desperate for me casting this replay. <laughs> I don't know why. Scouting at Supply Depot for Billy Bows, the Blue Terran. Uh, and uh, Drone Scout uh, for Smodis, the Blue Sir, uh, or the Red Sir, coming out right now. Team, it's gonna be Hatch first, of course, because it's against their own. Should turn on the production tab. I felt like something was missing. It was the production tab. You know, make a little bit of a weird wall off. Put a second supply depot here. It's gonna be a normal wall off. Um, it's, it's gonna be walled off and all of that, but it looks weird. <laughs> Drone just hanging out here, staring at the command center, hoping it will explode. I don't think he remembers about his drone. Now he does. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, that drone is under attack. And so we have a uh, one Rex expand here. Going straight into command center after his first barracks. I wonder if Smodis is going to be able to see that. Maybe he will if he cancels the extractor. Because I think he will. Maybe not. Okay, so he's just going to try to keep that gas so he can't get it. But there will be no gas soon because he command center is after racks. Send some marines, take up the extractor, why not? And now he's gonna realize that extractor was a waste, but it was just 25 minerals because the drone would die anyways because of. Yeah, it would just get killed if he tried to run out. And it let him survive a little bit longer. SV scouting for the third, just in case, because he's gonna take his third sooner or later. Because Terran got his natural up, so Smodis should really get an, a third right now, or he can just stay into the two base all in, of course. And I don't think that would be super effective because he, he can just throw down another bunker and then he's safe. I'll see here what he's gonna build. Okay, that one goes to the latch. I thought he was gonna make another, another kind of building. Let's go for the third right now. Nice. Yeah, he's seen it. I wonder what he's gonna do about it. If he's gonna stay on two bases or if he's gonna take his third early. But I don't think Turn cannot expand Zerg in this position. Because Zerg can just send a couple of links. And some kind of dirt on my mouse. I'm just gonna fix that. 
There we go. Income or harvest of time is looking like an advantage of 10 for Smoties. down macro command center I don't, I don't know if it's gonna be a macro command center or if it's gonna be first third I think it's just gonna be a macro one you can drop you could drop down a mule now if you wanted to but it's still only producing two SVs okay now it's producing three Link taking the watchtower but not gonna be able to That was close actually. <coughs> I could have took out another SUV. Because it's so far ahead now in Harvester, that would be quite good for him. Because the SUV could just go back in mine now and send a marine there instead. And he can get minerals from the, this SUV. Banshees. A Banshee with Cloak coming up. Quite nice play here from Billy Bows. Just running up. Not gonna have any defense for mm, for the Hellions at that base. Could do a surround on the Hellions here. Gonna be able to take out uh, what's here? None so far. A really good position for the Hellions there. And he has to run away. Now he needs to make a couple more surgeons just to clean up the uh, Hellions and that's quite sad. Because he had a lot of Hellions. Banshee coming in high here. No cloak yet. Seems like Smodis has scouted the Banshees. Cloak is done. But he's not going to do anything because he's so close to the spore crawler. And he could lose his banshee. Yeah, he's going to lose his banshee here. While he's, uh, while Smodis is sticking out the hellions. Really nice play by Smodis. A lot of overlords spread out over the map. A viking could like turn around this game. If you just make one viking just to go around and hunt overlords although he's making another banshee and he's got one another one coming here I don't know what he's trying to do with this backlash rockets not strong enough it seems like I wonder how if but, um, if they spin so slow, how can they, they fly? Because it looks like they spin quite slow. The proper props on them. Uh huh. Gonna add on factory. So it's probably gonna go a lot of tanks or maybe a Thor. With no mutilist coming, so I don't think so. Well, there is a spire actually, but he didn't make any air units, right? No, he didn't. I'm gonna make this in reactors, start working on medivacs. Not so many marines before that spawn there, because he didn't have it. Oh. Now let's look at the income tab. Look now. Yes. This is why I really like Terran. <laughs> and now it's just gonna go mad. That was my, my iPhone. <sighs> yes. I can't see anything so hard. It's so hard to see that without my eyes hurting. Can make 10 mutilisk now. Like 2 minutes after the spire is done. 10 Munalisk and 10 Creep Tumors. So it's got quite nice creep spread, it looks like. And that is really nice for him. 
sensor tower at third, really nice, then you can get alerted a bit earlier for counterattacks. attacks. Stuff like that. This overlord is gonna get cleaned up because the medvax easiest. Gonna drop, I wonder, because I know the vision remains for a short while while something dies. So I wonder if it... No, it didn't. Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna check. I'm just gonna see if you can see him loading up. I can see that I'm going to one point there and loading up into the meadow so I, if it was really paying attention you could have seen that drop. There's something you really have to watch out for. When unit dies, the vision doesn't go away immediately. The only thing you can see is stuff that was shooting the unit. Like the marines who were shooting there, so then you can see the marines, but not the medevacs. And he's gonna spot this drop a second time. He could just drop here, trying to take some drones. He could also try to snipe the spire, baneling nest. Maybe the evil. Forget that. This is gonna get cleaned up. But he's gonna lose, lose a lot of mirrorless in the process. I think... Uh, maybe not. Okay. He lost a lot. But he also took out a couple of mutalisks, which, which was nice. Because then he can keep the mutalisk number down. Which is at 14 right now. So it's probably going for that style saying, hey I'm going mutalisk and around here he sh should stop making mutalisk and then he just makes 15 more. Banshee and drop her ass because I heard a banshee. Oh, it's here. You could try to attack the banies here if he was really paying attention. Could focus down the banies. Gonna cloak. Let's say that the cloak was worth it because otherwise it would just die. Anyways. 3-3 three, three coming up for turn. 2-2 two, two almost done for Smodis. Couple of tanks. Maybe should siege them up unless he wants to push now. Because he's quite vulnerable for just a run by. Or not run by, but. Yeah, he's gonna push. Maybe he's just gonna push up to take his fourth. Or maybe he's gonna go for an attack while he takes his expansion. Fourth coming up for Smuddies. <coughs> Although, I have seen that. Smudges has been even on expansions with Billy Bows on a lot in here, and uh, that is not good for Surrey. But he still seems to have a lot of bank and plus and already max, so seems to not have uh, seems to not have done as much damage to Smudges as I thought it would. Although Infestation Pit just finished, so. He can now start working on his hive, so his 3 3 is not gonna be able to come out soon at all. I think Billy Bose has a quite nice opportunity here when his 3 3 finishes to make a really nice push. And I get like 7 FPS right now. Gonna take out the tank, losing a lot of links. And a mural is, oh! For just tank. I don't think it was worth it. Although the tank was worth it, but not when losing the mutalisk. It should go for a two pronged attack here, but it seems like it just doesn't care because the marines are cleaning up the rocks. And all the banelings are out, just mutalisk left, and that is not a good position versus marines. <coughs> not when you have more marines than mutalisk. And I wonder why I'm just getting 10 FPS. Well, the, the game is still really good. Perhaps gonna try to clean up the rocks here. But I don't know why he would like to clean up the rocks. That just makes so... Smotis can come from more angles if he cleans up the rocks. 
because I don't think you should try to open pass a Terran, only a Surg. Perhaps gonna make try to snipe a couple of tanks with a mutilisk. And if I know Smote is right, I think he will go. If he doesn't want to make any more mutilisk, I think he will go for Ultras. Because he really likes Ultras, from what I know. A major engagement here. Dropping to 5 FPS. Gonna take out the tank with the mutilisk and just. Gonna try to connect with the Banelings. But. Quite nice marine split here, the babies aren't gonna do so much, but. And some reinforcement, and I think you can hold this off. 50 more Surglings coming out. Although. I don't know. My computer shouldn't be lagging this much. Can try to drop this fifth base with let's see here four marauders and eight marines. Although these marauders are quite damaged, it's gonna have to spend some energy on on healing them. And yeah, so. And these doesn't have as much HP as you want to have when you drop. And just a couple of links here are gonna get cleaned up because that is not enough to take out the drop. Gonna try to focus down the hatchery. I would think. No, he's not going to. Perhaps he should. I think he actually focused down the queen there, right there. Yeah, he did. Because something injected Laura there, and I think there was one on the Cloud of Mutalisk. So he took out the Queen, that's nice. Then a delay inject Laura for. I think one. One inject Laura is gonna be missed here because he can start producing the next Queen during that. And he's gonna be able to clean up this drop, almost took out this hive. <coughs> you should get. His creepers, um, the ones that make creeper him, and uh, try to transduce that because that is really easy to drop. I wonder if they get full HP when no, they don't when they transform into hives. Three, three, and then adren uh, adrenal glands coming up. A lot, uh, almost four thousand minerals in the bank for Smotis. Really nice. And all for this coming now. I think you could have gotten that a little bit earlier. And I've been thinking about something. When when a Zerg building is in the red HP they start to bleed. And this actually bleeds a lot. I wonder why why the HP is still going up. I'm gonna be able to connect on a lot of those marines, so that's really nice as mode is. I'm gonna be able to clean up the marines and they can just retreat with the uh, links and banes and clean it up with mutilisk. So he doesn't have to lose any links or banes. But he doesn't care. He just goes for it. Mutilisk only have two attacks, so they don't have any armor upgrades, so the marines do tons of damage against the mutilisk. But Still enough mutilisk to clean that up. I don't know what she's gonna produce now. I we're hoping for older list because they are so nice to see. Gonna be able to take out a lot of medvacs. That is really nice because that's what you wanna do. You wanna clean up the medvacs. And all of these SVs mining one patch, okay. There they go. That I thought they uh, would fix that earlier. But they were just uh, we want to mine from the base patch, sure. Adren adrenal glands, done in a second or two, now at least. Gonna be able to take out this drop if he is looking, and he is.
There's a lot of marines. Not so many mutalisk left because he doesn't want to dump anything into mutalisk. And it's maybe gonna, no, he's not gonna lose this hatchery. But he cancelled it. And built it again, I guess, to get more HP on it. Could be worth it, I don't know. The expansion is gonna be a little bit later, but he gets full HP on it. And uh, those mutalisk are gonna take a lot of damage, I think. But he hadn't selected there, but it didn't move them. I don't know why. So, yeah. He should dead. Maybe he's focusing on this. That could be it. But he lost a lot of mutalisk, and... Yeah, Smurdus lost a lot more than villain bows right now. And he's gonna be behind in harvesters, I think. Uh, not as far as ahead as he would like to be, at least. The, these four marines, these are really annoying because you have to fungle them, otherwise you're just gonna take out a lot of investors. That's that's something really annoying, you know. Five ultra list coming up. I think he could make more. Yes, he could. I'm able to clean up a lot of these medvacs. This unit is not really helping. He's perhaps focused on this little push here. Thor's hammer, the highest DPS in the game. There is. There is no higher DPS than the Thor, Thor attack. I wonder if you can utilize it in this engagement. The Thors are gonna do a lot of damage with this Ultra Disc. That's not gonna work. The Ultra Disc you know, the Thors do it 36 damage at 2 2. Two times, or twice, uh, every attack. Every 1.28 seconds. So, yeah. That's a lot of damage. That's 70 damage per attack. So, yeah. That would be like 50 DPS or something. I don't know. Really, I don't have the exact numbers. And 2 2 at least. The Ultra Disc also do a lot of damage, of course. But only versus armored. And they don't have range. Gonna be able to get this kindness plating done. And just searching up here. Leapfrogging like all the so, uh, all the turns do because turns yeah turns you know what I mean I hate them. <laughs> but quite fun to clean up gonna be able to clean this up quite easily it looks like because ultra discs are really good against ground when you don't have many marauders and uh, tanks, of course, if the tanks aren't in a good position. Plenty of Fortress gonna be able to take that out also because he has Ultra Disk. Otherwise, this could have been quite hard. Or he's just gonna Master Pair, so it doesn't matter. Ibkis Cannon getting supported by. Oh. Oh. This is quite nice for Smodis. Gonna be able to kill these Medvax. One more fungal. One fungal. Come on. Yeah. And I don't know if it was worth worth fungal to just do it to one. I think it's better to just down drop down if it's Terrence. He almost has he has no fungal energy left almost. After that. He spent a lot of energy just to take out one man back. Really nice for Bilbo. He says we still aren't mining after he repaired um, during the Ultrask attack drop coming out here. And that is going to hurt him a lot, I think. A lot of lazy SVs. I wonder how many. 30 lazy workers for Bilbo. And that is not something you can afford. 
He needs every worker he can get in this position. 30. There's a lot. Maybe gonna be able to snipe this ultra this, but um, I think this drop skin will be able to clean, be cleaned up quite easily. <laughs> nice. Another medevac here. Have some more old drop I missed. I don't know. Trying to clean up some creep, sir coming saying no you don't. And I wonder why this is going like slow motion. Just because of lag. Oh the uh, marines just making it out of there. And some lag. Yay! Just gonna go for it. these guys. They get cleaned up quite easily. With just a fungal and a couple of bings that cost. Maybe all an ultras? No. Not at all. Not gonna happen. I love this frenzied effect. That means uh, they don't get stunned from fungal growth, but. Okay, gonna be able to take out that. What was that like? Fourth, I think. Expansion. I think it was. It's quite. It's it's too late. I think maybe. I don't know. They're quite even right now, and that's not good for Surge. But it's still maxed, so maybe it's good for him because then he can afford to make more army. He's got six thousand banked, and I think this is quite over for the third guy because. Well, there's a lot of bank for Smotus right now, and he can just produce whatever he wants. Maybe Brood Lords out of this would be a great transition. I think. Yeah, he lost Spire earlier. He can just remake that, I think. Maybe during the drop when the hive got low, and maybe missed that. Two tanks. Okay, this is totally over now. If he just loses two tanks like that. I could have done a lot of damage to this army. But not enough, I think. Yeah, th this is a lot of open. It's not even gonna bother to repair the planter. Or it's going to. But I don't think it's gonna be enough. No, it's not. And uh, this game is over, I think. I'm gonna claim that at least. Yeah, it's over. And uh, so, yeah. Nice game here on, on Daybreak. Billabos for Smotis, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.